good morning and welcome to this week's video uh, this week come to a new location for me um, I've come down to Exmoor and a place called Haddon Hill overlooking Wimbledon Lake um, offers some nice views so I'm going to do a bit of a circular walk um, basically taking the views see what there is to offer and see what shots we can take so stick with me and let's see what we can see didn't have to uh, wander too far before I uh, saw my first shot of the day so I'll um, turn the camera around let you have a look okay so uh, this is the scene overlooking Wimbleball Lake this morning So what I've done, I've set up, I've got this tree here on the right hand side to hold that side of the shot together. Uh, we've got a pathway, pathway here in the foreground uh, with a bit of foreground interest. And then off in the background, we've got Wimbleball Lake. Um, unfortunately, not a lot of detail in the sky this morning there is a little bit um but it is a bit hazy so what i'm doing as far as settings go i've taken a couple of shots at f11 15th of a second and i've got the iso down to iso 64 to keep the keep the images sharp and get as much detail um, what I'm also doing is I've also taken a couple of shots at a couple of stops under at 1 25th of a second um, just to bring the exposure down on the sky a little bit so that I can blend that and hopefully pull as much detail out of that cloud as possible when it comes to uh, when it comes to the final image so yeah first shot of the day focusing into the into the image grabbing a couple of shots hopefully a good start Okay, this uh, this circular walk I'm doing this morning should take me about an hour and a half in real time, but um, my walks never end up in like that. It's obviously uh, the purpose of the walk is to get some get some nice images, hopefully. So um, obviously you're. Uh, stopping regularly so if you're just looking to come down and do the walk it should be about an hour and a half but um if you've got the camera with you good chance it's going to take longer whilst uh whilst we're walking up over here taking in the views um i don't know if anybody saw last week's video um, 
albeit as it turned out it didn't turn out as bad as expected um, I did get a few shots that I was actually happier with once I got them back but um, I was having a good old moan about things not going to plan and things not so whilst we're walking up here I just want to take the opportunity just to say quite often things don't go to plan uh, really you just have to make the best best of what you got um, conditions are very rarely very rarely perfect there's quite often the light's flat or it's uh, or it's too bright and it's too harsh um, time of the day can be wrong we all like to go out early in the morning or in the evening to get the best of the light um, sometimes you need to get out in the day because it's just you have to go when time allows so needless to say you know we all have the same problems we all moan a lot about conditions never been right um, so don't worry about it the best part about it is that you're getting out the house getting some fresh air getting a walk so a bit of exercise and doing something that we all enjoy which is getting the cameras out and doing a bit of photography so uh, never never worry the conditions don't seem right just go out anyway maybe I need to heed my own advice but that's the way I'm thinking as I'm walking up over this hill okay come back to you when we get to the top and I'll show you the views we are at the uh, top of Haddon Hill uh, I will do a 360 um, looking back towards Wimbleball Lake there so I'll do a 360 around uh, to be honest the conditions aren't great to show you this view it is a it is a little bit hazy um, but even so you can get a general idea of the incredible views across the Somerset and looking back towards Devon so you can see the Somerset and Devon from here so uh, some incredible 360 views uh, about right to the lake so as you can see treated treated to a nice spot this morning okay. so um, uh, some nice views up here um, nothing really catching my eye as, as far as taking a photo other than uh, obviously I took the one or, or at the bottom of the hill um, but now I'm gonna head head on down over now um, head down into the valley and then the intended route is to walk down into the valley um, walk up through the valley back up towards the lake and then make our way back up over the hill on the on the bottom side so we'll uh, carry on walking and no doubt take some photos see you in a minute Okay, um, 
quite like in this shot very very simple nothing <laughs> all we've got is very barren gorse and heather all around and then we've got this track leading off into the distance so i've taken a couple of shots i've actually i've taken one with the horizon on the on the upper third um but i've also taken taken one with no horizon at all sort of almost looking at that sort of angle there so um a couple of interesting shots um taking it taking it f11 15th of a second iso 64. so i'll put them up let you have a look Here's a new addition to the Exmoor herd. Young foal there, following its mother. Walking down over now, uh, walking down into, down over into this valley here, down towards the, back down towards the lake. Um, but this scene here just, uh, just stood out to me. That's quite nice. Um, I'll just talk you through my composition, right? So what I've got is, we've got this pathway here that bends around and leads us back towards the lake um, and what I've got I've set the composition up with this brow of a hill here and here creating a bit of a V that brings us again into the lake um, and we've got a bit of a bit of patchwork sort of hedges here and these fields it looks quite nice um, and obviously we are now starting to get a little bit of definition in the in the sky it's um it's blowing out a little bit on this fogging on this osmo pocket um but what i should do same as before i should take a couple of shots a couple of stops under at uh one twentieth of a second and then um a couple at the correct exposure for the foreground uh, just so that I can bring that definition out in that sky again. So, yeah, quite a nice scene. Uh, making the most of some relatively flat light. Um, albeit, if it was, if the sun was showing, I'd be looking pretty much at the sun. So it would be difficult to take this shot at this time of day. Um, but it's quite a nice scene anyway or it certainly looks pleasing to the eye whether it'll look nice in the photo remains to be seen I'll let you be the judge
Okay, we're now dropping down, down over into the trees. Um, I think I'm going the right way. I use a app for finding my way around, an app called View Ranger. Um, you have to, and then you can download Ordnance Survey maps, and it's all GPS tracked, obviously. So um, it's a good way of hopefully not getting lost, but um, yeah, it's a good app, very good. Okay, the um, one thing that's sort of in my mind regarding this walk is that so far, apart from walking up to the top of Haddon Hill, all I've been doing is going downhill, which means in a minute to get back to my start point, I'm going to be going back uphill again. And I think some of it may be quite steep, so yeah. Might be time for a cup of tea time we get back to the truck. I could get down there. Might be a way to get around there another day. But gates locked. Helmets must be worn. So better abide by the rules. Okay, um definitely planning on coming back down here again from a different route to go to the bottom of bottom of this this damn wall because uh, there's a cascade to the side of it that I would imagine when we have a good downpour of rain would look quite impressive so I think that's uh, definitely one to plan for the future. Okay, now down, right down level with the lake. Very nice, albeit now. We're heading off that way on a uphill climb all the way. Okay, just composing this was just maybe maybe the last shot of the day. Um, just want to take you through um, on the live view. Don't forget the information that you can get. All cameras are different, but like on this one, uh, you know, you've got the you've got the grid. Not sure if you can see from the reflection, but you've got the grid view, histogram, level, and shooting information there at the top um 
histogram is very important. As you can see on this one at the moment, on the highlight side, it's um, showing that its highlights are right up high on, on the verge of blowing out. So we're taking the shutter speed up, bring the histogram back and bring everything in so that the dynamic range is as much information there as possible. And then in post-processing, in RAW, you can always pull pull details out. But if you are underexposed and the histograms on the left-hand side, then you've got dark spots um, that you will struggle to pull out. Um, and more so on the highlight side. If it's blown out on the highlights, if information's blown out on the highlights, you will never retrieve it. Okay, for this final composition of the day, I'm just using this, this pathway here, leading us off. Um, got a couple of trees there, and again on this side as well, holding each side of the shot together, and that's leading us out into the Wimbledon Lake going off into the distance, off to the horizon. Um, got the horizon on the upper third. So, and the, the pathway leading in from the centre. Uh, shooting at one ISO 64, F11, 1 60th of a second. So, get the shot. I'll put them up at the end. And you can have a look. Okay, so here we are, we're going back to Haddon Hill Car Park. Uh, very, very enjoyable walk. Um, got a few, few nice photos, I think, um, but just enjoyable to be out. So, um, hope you've in, enjoyed it as well. Um, if you have, please hit that subscribe button and the notification bell to keep up with my latest content and um, if you've enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up because it really does uh, help my channel and drop a comment it's always it's always great to get some feedback so please drop a comment down below with any anything you like dislike any um, anything you'd like to see in the future so um, anyway from Haddon Hill on Exmoor um, been an enjoyable morning so until next time Take it easy.